Hello, hi guys. My name is Adokin Minakshi Tatta, currently working as Junior Law Associate in Lexus & Company. Today, I want to say some few words. What is a contract according to Indian Contract Act? Indian Contract Act frames and validates the contracts or agreement between the parties. So, Indian Contract Act can be said as central laws that regulate and oversees all the business wherever there is a case of deal or an agreement. So, in order to understand the same, first of all, we have to understand what is mean by contract. So, in this regard, I want to quote the definitional clause present in the Indian, broad, uh, Indian Contract Act regarding the uh, contract. So, what is mean by contract? It has been written under uh, section 2 H that any agreement enforceable by law is going to be uh, said as a contract. So, in other words, we can say that contract is anything that is an agreement enforceable by any law of the land. So, in order to understand the same, we have to now see what is mean by an agreement. In section 2E, the act defines the term agreement. Agreement is every promise or every set of promises forming the consideration for each other. So, in order to understand the same, we have to know what is promise. The promise has been again explained or defined under subsection uh, 2B of Indian Contract Act. So, prom uh, when a, it has been written that when the person to whom the proposal is made and has signified his assent there to the proposal becomes an accepted proposal. A proposal when accepted becomes a promise. So, the whole story arises from the promise. Whenever a person promises someone to give something or to serve some services and other party is going to give the requisite assent regarding the same that is going to form a promise. So a promise when turned into agreement and the when the agreement is enforceable then it going to be made as a contract. So in so in totality every business transaction is going to be followed by agreement only first of all there is a promise which turns into an agreement and an agreement which became uh, legal uh, and then the contract act can be uh, invoked so in order to understand any business transaction in uh, in pursuance to the laws we have to understand the phase so the phase is started from the promise thereafter the assent thereafter agreement formation which it comprises promise and set of promises which has been ag agreed by the both the parties and that then the agreement turned into a contract where the issue of consideration came so in order to fulfill the said promises a party stated to, to do something or to abstain from doing something and in, in that reference the contract definition can be invoked and when a contract has been formed in between two parties at that time non followance of the same terms and conditions can uh, be raised and a serious dispute and such dispute will be will be uh, followed uh, through uh, various laws in order to uh, redress the same in the form of uh, re relief so when the parties when the parties or any party is going to be affected with the arisal of such type of disputes disputes so the party which is the victim is going to uh, see uh, what kind of law is can be invoked to redress his uh, consideration or his uh, damages so in that respect, the parties will uh, invoke the criminal jurisdiction or the civil or commercial jurisdiction in, uh, with regard to the facts of the case. So, thank you for now.